been a fabulous transfer window so far and we're going to focus on three South Americans who have landed in English football or maybe are set to land. Santai joins me to talk us through these masters of the ball. Sam, let's start with the man who became Newcastle's highest paid player when he completed a move from Leon. It's Bruno Jimerez. Uh, with add-ons, I'm told this one could go as high as 52 million euros, which is massive, especially when you're in a relegation battle. Um, what are we going to get from him? It's a lot. I mean, look, Jimerez is, is a masterful passer of the ball first and foremost his distribution long and short is amazing his ability to feed it through the lines he's also a great carrier of the ball so really he just comes under this modern term of progressor he gets the ball forward he takes it from here and he gets it to here and Newcastle's midfield is in a big need of that kind of thing so there's definitely questions to answer I don't know what the exact midfield makeup Newcastle were going to use to get the best out of him I don't know who his best partner is but Bruno as a player is now Newcastle's best footballer. Yeah. So that's a good start, right? It's a very nice start, isn't it? <laughs> Big statement there from Newcastle. Um, let's move on. And at number two, I mean, Luis Diaz has joined Liverpool from FC Porto, and this one could hit heights of around 60 million euros. Um, look, this player looks like he was going to Tottenham, but Liverpool had inquired about him earlier in the window. They hijacked that Tottenham deal. They were like, that is not happening. <laughs> we're Liverpool. Um, we want to get him on board. And it seems to me like a really nice addition for the way that they're kind of shifting this team forwards. It's a better fit for Liverpool than it was going to be for Spurs. I, w I would hate to see him end up at wing back, you know, under Antonio Conte. <laughs> this guy is one of the most fun footballers in world football. He is joy on a pitch. He is a, basically a, a sort of Vinicius Junior style player who nutmegs and back heels and tries to rainbow flick the ball over people's heads. He's also an absolutely lethal finisher. He can dribble, he can take two, three on, balance himself and ping it in the top corner. He is a brilliant addition. He comes at a prime age, a really good initial price as well. Mm. And I think he's exactly what Liverpool needed to work into this attacking rotation. Yeah, and finally, Julian Alvarez, who's joining Manchester City. It looks like, this one's not signed and sealed just yet, but it looks like he's joining them from River Plate. Um, it'll be loaned back if that's the case. Lot of hype around this guy. Is he good enough? This he could be genuinely, potentially unbelievable. Julian Alvarez has incredible potential. He is just this ridiculous goal threat from all angles, all ranges, left foot, right foot, and he's got this X factor about him. You watch him, you just go, he's got it. Like he he's just got this the special something about him. There's an elite timing and a rhythm to his game. He does like to drop in and, and, and take the ball to feet, spread it wide, and then run in behind the defence. So I don't want anybody to be comparing him to Sergio Aguero, very different player. All right, do not, do not come to me with Julian Alvarez is the next Sergio Aguero. Give him his room to breathe. He's a very different player, but he could be just as special. I really mean that. Aguero or not, we look forward to seeing him in the Premier League eventually. That's all we've got here on these guys, but we're going to be seeing much more of them in the future. It's three very special talents.